I just thought I'd come over and see what you were up to. And I didn't want to come earlier when you were up in the tree. Holy moly. So you live in a misty place like this. <laughs> and what you will do for solar. Okay, before it gets dark, let's get yeah. this thing in. Yeah. Okay. Your gloves. Yeah. So what's going on here? We're getting ready for pour. Got to get an inspection first. The rebar cage is all in, the electrical's all in. Wow. It's just simply ready for an inspection. Six, six and a half foot hole? Uh, yeah, it's a seven foot de uh, depth hole, three foot in diameter. So now that conduit going into the earth there. Yeah. That is, you've got dug a hole all the way to your house? No, no, that just goes in about six inches. It's oh. just so the concrete doesn't cover uh. the ends so I can hook into it when I dig the trench. And then this is all locked in level now. And there's the famous tree. Yeah. The pulley's still up there. I didn't bring it down yet. I gotta climb that tree again and pray. Is that like is it 80 feet up there? Uh, 60 feet? Yeah, no, it's 70. Oh. It's about 70 feet. It's quite quite a beautiful looking form you've built there. Yeah, actually you can just buy a burk tube and it'd be easy to set around this and uh, it's a one-time usage. Uh, but I plan on making some more of these in the future, so this form I can reuse it. It comes apart in half, but you seal it in and you get a harder, harder surface. So you actually add something to it to make it seal? Well, this is the cement. Okay. So I'm drawing the cement. Okay. Cement. By rubbing it? Yeah, by pushing the rocks down. And oh, I get you. Yeah, and then seal it. Yeah, the whole thing went pretty easy. It is. It was pretty easy wheelbarrow. It wasn't that big of a job, really. Well, how many wheelbarrows would you say? Fill that. Uh, somewhere between 30 and 40, probably. 30 or 40 yeah. wheelbarrows? Yeah, I asked him. I said, well, I guess not many people wheelbarrow. And he said, oh, yeah, a lot do. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So a lot of people should probably check what it costs for a pumper and say, forget it. Yeah. So it would have cost three or four hundred bucks. Huh? Would it cost 300 bucks? Over. And it's such a small amount of yardage, it's only a couple of yards. <laughs> you see, I kept got a lot of fall, so the water yes. runs away from the, the pole. See, I'll, you, I can reuse this form next time. That's why I wanted to do this this way. Yeah, next up, put the, the whole uh, support mechanism for the solar panels together. <laughs> so for different part, times of the year, look, you can go, you can either go to, oh. so you can go, let's see. Where's the steepest a little, little bit further. Yeah, a little farther. A little further. So you can go there. Yeah. Depending on where you are. Yeah. Latitude. And it's at the perfect height for adjusting. Yeah, it's the, I don't have to have a ladder, which is nice. Or, but it's almost flat when you go here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. That is brilliant. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. It's going to be a permanent installation. Or I could have you here and have you follow the sun. Well, that would give me something good to do. That would have you have it give you some, a meditational thing to do. <laughs> 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 yep. Yeah, the plank system makes it so that I can uh, reach everything and put it together by myself. Yeah. So this makes it a one-person one operation. And then I painted, I painted everything so that even though it was pre-painted already and galvanized, it should hold up indefinitely. Yeah, I think this is an excellent system. They uh, advertise that it's one of the uh, sturdiest, strongest systems on the market. And, and I think they may be telling the truth. Yeah. DPW looks like they really did a fine job. Really well crafted, wow. their whole system. So well, does that yeah. whole thing spin around now? 
Yeah, Not it spins yet. around. You have to loosen up these bolts, uh -huh. and then it'll spin around, and then you can change the angle. Yeah. So next, I'll be uh, doing all the electrical. Well, it looks like you're nearly finished. Okay, yeah, there's just a little bit to clean out here still. It's going to be dug out a little extra deep, but not much. So, um, it's like two feet deep everywhere? No, it's only 20 inches deep. It has only to be 20 inches. inches deep. Wow. It's a, actually direct burial PV wire, but I put it in conduit. Hopefully I'll be ready for another inspection in a couple weeks. Uh, the N-phase micro inverters. So they'll convert uh, the electricity that the panels produce. They produce DC electricity and these will convert it to AC because I want to be able to direct, directly connect to the grid. And uh, so when, when I was laying these out, I had to go ahead and drill holes in these L-shaped aluminum brackets that will uh, hold the, the solar array. So I wanted to start, I started it here so that this cord will hopefully come down and reach enough to come into the box where I have to connect to uh, my wires that go to the, uh, the main panel. Brilliant. See, it looks like there's six of these. Yeah, so I had to start here, work around, and you have to just figure out how you want it, your layout ahead of time, or, ah. or you can get fouled up. So and then it comes around here, back around, forms a loop, and ends here. Right, so, you, so the wiring that you've got, you're linking one to the next to the next, you haven't had to add in any, any no, cording? No, they provide all of that, it's all, but you have to figure it out. So like I had to do a neat loop on between each because I have more room. Ah. Actually, this is a landscape, you can get a, a vertical profile or a landscape, and this is a landscape, and you get more wire between ah. because my panels run this way. Ah. And normally on a roof on a landscape, see, you would need more, more wire. Right. But because this is not a roof, you're not going down a long line. Right. I ended up having to figure out how to neatly arrange the wire so it's not hanging down. And then I, I did find the best way to attach these wires. You can buy clips. Uh, stainless steel clips, but it's a lot easier with these uh, outdoor uh, ties, zip plastic like ties. Like zip ties. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so it really gives you a lot of latitude and it really tightens it down well. So, yeah, that worked out good. So, yeah, so the next thing will be just to get the uh, ground wire on and all of the attachments with the ground wire to connect it to every piece of metal. Coming along. It is. Right now I'm just doing the finishing touches before putting on the uh, solar panels. I just want to put this antioxidant on because all these metals they oxidize in the environment and this will protect it. So you stripped off the wire. This you, is a grounding? Yeah, that's, that's the ground. ground. I used a, ah. a stranded wire instead of a solid and I wanted to use one that has a, a direct burial sheathing Raising. on it. Mm just more resistant to the environment or anything that might happen than uh, than a bare ground. Wow, there's a lot more, there's more wire on this setup here now than a few days yeah, ago. Yeah, well, a lot of the wire is just simply for grounding uh -huh. because you're producing electricity. This this is the wire that I pulled, this, this wire and this wire pulled through the conduit and it is going to the uh, main panel in the house. Uh -huh. These wires right here will tie into these. These go up to the solar array and this is your ground and it has to be continuous throughout the entire system until it goes to the grounding rod that the main panel is grounded on. We are getting ready for the gateway Yeah. Uh, and these are the numbers that uh, correspond to each uh, microinverter. So these are the microinverters yeah. and the six of them, so six yeah. numbers. And uh, so then that will correspond to the envoy online and you'll know which microinverter goes to which solar panel. Uh -huh. And so Very you know exciting. what each one is doing. Ha! <laughs> You're funny. Yeah, I think so. You like a hand? I think that panel that number good. one. Very, very exciting. Should I be saying something quite technical? You definitely should be, Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> good idea. You, you came for the exciting part. Using these weaves, and it has sharp little areas on it so that when you tighten the bolt and nut down, it digs into the metal on both surfaces and you get uh, your electrical uh, grounding con uh, connection. 
So you're attaching them between the panels and the frame? Yeah, between the panels and the frame. You may be the first ones on the golf car course to have solar out there panels. Yeah. Will you do a roof or a pole mount? Haven't decided. You can get up to 25% more, 25% uh, more uh, production. You could sell this as a commercial. Really? Yeah. DPW is a good company. They yeah. got all the holes drilled in the right place so these panels fit their structure. Yeah, the nice thing about this uh, particular kind of setup is the whole uh, mechanism will swivel so I can really line it up with uh, the true, uh, true pole so that the sun is the correct angle. And then, of course, I can change the angle down here for different times of the year. Well, and, and while you're putting it together, we were able to swivel the whole thing around and reach it yeah, easily. Yeah, which yeah. worked really good, yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, pretty good, huh? Looks like a solar system. Wow, yeah, it's, like it's beautiful. Now. Very cool. Fantastic. Yeah. Let the sun shine. Yeah. Well, you may not be hooked up to the grid yet, but your panels are producing, baby. Look at those lights flash. <laughs> that was very exciting. Yeah. Uh, the energy's coming from somewhere. Yeah. It must be coming from the light and the panels.